Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button before leaving and give it a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get started. So today is going to be focused around um, the company It Cosmetics. I um, got their CC cream, I wanna say last summer, and I wasn't as huge a fan of it as everybody else, but I really think it was because it had such a yellow undertone. It just kind of made me look like sickly. <laughs> um, so I went out and I bought a different color. It is unfortunately too dark for my skin, but I found a way to make it work. So if you have fair skin with pink undertones, um, or if you have fair skin with yellow undertones, I'm gonna show you the two um, so you can see them and how maybe you can make it work for you because it's so beautiful and I love everything that's in it and how it has an SPF of 50. Um, it just, there is not right now at this current time like a really good shade match for me. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and start with my sunscreen. My cheeks are pink because I was outside um, just cutting branches back and it's 85 degrees here, but it feels like 102 um, in Florida. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my sunscreen. Um, I love this sunscreen. It doesn't have any scent to it. It is a mineral sunscreen. It just goes on really, really light. One of the main things I love about it though is that it doesn't have a scent and it feels like water just going on into your skin. Um, but this is so important, no matter where you live, to be protecting your skin against the sun. Um, but since we're outside working, I figured I need to reapply it anyway. So I'm just gonna put it all over. You also should be putting it on your eyes. Um, as dermatologists say, you can get skin cancer on here as well. So make sure you are putting it everywhere. Okay, so if you're on the hunt for a sunscreen, it's a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it. Okay, I also wanna tell you, um, besides the CC cream I picked up when I was in the store, the It Confidence in a Gel Lotion, oh my gosh, if you have not tried this, it feels like silk. I love it. I generally use it at nighttime just because in the morning time I'm using my SPF, um, but if your skin is really dry, you might wanna use it morning and night, um, but this just makes your skin feel silky smooth. It is amazing, so there's that. Okay, so the original one that I had by them was the Fair, and this one has, I don't know if you can see, a little bit more of a yellowish undertone, and I just kind of felt like it made me look sickly, <laughs> like my skin just did not look right. So I went ahead and I picked up their Fair Light, and you can tell the difference between the two. This one has more of a pink undertone. It is a little bit more beige, though, in color, which is why it doesn't match exactly. Um, Looking online, I thought that this would be a really good match, but when I got it, it is a tad dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them so you can see. Okay, so this one is the original Fair. As you can see, it's very yellow um, compared to my skin tone. And then let's go ahead and do the Fair Light, which is the one I just picked up. And you can see that it has more of a pink undertone, but it does have more it also has a hint of like that orange color in it because um, it's a little bit more tan. So that's the only reason why it's a little too dark for my skin. Um, so I'm really hoping that It Cosmetics will come out with a more of a shade range because it is beautiful. I love um, that it has an SPF of 50 and it just looks great on your skin. So one of the things that I noticed is because it's dark, I use very, very little. It's almost a full pump. Um, because if I use any more than this, it doesn't look good on my skin. So I went ahead and I picked up the, what is this? Airbrush Complexion Perfection Brush by them. I've heard so many wonderful things. It is super soft. Um, I really like it for applying the CC cream. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it in this video. But all I'm gonna do is just put it around my skin. And just this little bit. If you use any more than this and you have fair skin, it's not gonna work. It's gonna look too dark. You really need to go light-handed with this, which I guess is good because it'll make the product last longer. So I literally just try to make it very, very thin across my face. And even by making it really thin, it still gives a nice coverage. I mean, when I say it's, it's light to medium, um, you can definitely obviously build it, it's just that I don't want to because of it being a little, a little too dark. I posted a picture of me wearing it before I tried this technique on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram under Mom Wife Teach, I'd love for you to follow me there. Um, but I was asking your all's opinion 
um, after I bought this of whether or not you thought it was too dark. And some of you said yes, and I do agree, it is a tad too dark. Um, and then some of you said, no, bronze your neck and just go with it. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let me try it different ways and see if I can get it to work. I know that I will get somewhat of a color. I don't really tan too, too well. Um, but with it getting really hot here and being outside with the kids, I know I'm gonna start to get a little bit more color. Okay, so I am really trying to spread this out it just makes, look how beautiful your skin looks, but you can tell, I mean, when you're looking that it is a little bit darker. Um, so I'm hoping during the summer this will match a little bit better. But right now it does, when I'm wearing regular short sleeve shirts and not, you know, open uh, v-neck like this, it does look like my face has a little bit more color, so that's kind of nice. Um, so I think even if you live up north and you actually still have cooler weather, you could make this work if you have fair skin and it would just make your face look more like you have a warm glow um, and not so much of that really light summer color, or sorry, really light winter color that we tend to get without the, uh, the tan and having the, the sun. All right, so I just, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it is just, as you can tell, a tad, a tad too dark, but using a little less than half, uh, no, a little less than a full pump and this brush and just making sure that you bring it all the way down your neck um, because of it being a little bit darker, that helps it to kind of blend all in. I usually only go down here. I don't usually go all the way down my neck, but because of it being a little darker, this works. Okay, and then I'm going to just lightly dust it with my It Bye Bye Pores. I'm actually almost out of this one. I have to tell you, one of my favorite ones is Bare Minerals. They had this pressed translucent touch-up veil and I'm so sad because they don't make it anymore it's been discontinued um, but it really was beautiful so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly set this with a little bit of the it bye bye pores powder and it just makes your skin just look perfected. I love the qualities of the products that they have in it. It's just beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite blush right now, which is Maybelline Fit Me in Nude. Um, it's my dupe for the Bobbi Brown Antigua one that I absolutely love. I'm so happy I found this. As you can see, I really, really love it. And I definitely will be buying more of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm just using my Benefit Brow in shade three. I'm gonna just press it down, or push it down, I should say. I don't need too much. I'm just gonna fill in to make it look a little bit more uniformed. On both sides. And then brush it back up. I find that this is easier to do it this way and I think it also looks much more natural because as you're brushing it up, it's kind of blending it through your brow. And it's quick and easy. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. So I'm going to use the Sultry palette. I love this one. Um, the only thing that I'm sad about is as usual, I go through the light colors so fast. So I got this in November because my husband bought it for our anniversary and I'm already through. This one's pretty much almost gone and this one's all the way gone. Um, so you can see the colors that I've been loving, but the light ones, I always have a problem with going through them way too quickly. All right, so I'm gonna use the color Twig and some of the Cinder and I'm just gonna come over here to the corner and then I'm gonna drag it up into my crease to kind of give like that halo effect. I'm gonna do twig and cinder again and go over and then drag it up into my crease and kind of give that halo effect on this side as well. Okay, and then I'm going to use Cyborg, which is the silver one. And I'm just gonna kind of put it right on the rest of the lid, just kind of pressing it right there to add kind of that glow, but that silver glisten color is so pretty. And then I'm gonna use left with uh, fresh because there's very little left of the fresh. 
and I'm going to do swirling motion to try to blend it up so you don't have this harsh stop start line here. I find that using swirling motions um, really helps to blend it better than just simply going across. And then it all blends out really nice. Okay, and then I personally love to use eyeshadow palettes for my eyeliner. I find that you don't have the problem with it running or smudging throughout the day and looking weird. So I just use an angled brush and I'm gonna go into, um, let's see, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of slate, which is this silver color and also the, I don't even know how you say this word, but this really dark kind of twig color. I'm gonna go into both of them because I want a little bit of a gray hint because of having the silver on my eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the outer corner and drag it about halfway in, kind of letting it naturally lighten as it goes, like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top because the dark's pretty bottom compared to the top right now. So I'm just gonna put it like about halfway in and then just press it along my lash line going out. So I have a little bit of definition on the top as well, matching the bottom. It looks a little darker. You just drag that in. I didn't add any other color. I'm just using what's ever left on the brush to kind of make it blend seamlessly into the top. Okay, and then I always use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, I like to kind of contour with a highlight. So I go underneath and then I go down my nose and then I kind of bring it up around the side to kind of draw your eye up. But I feel like this gives, if you have fair skin, more of like a natural way to highlight your nose um, without making it look too orange or anything like that. I think that using the brightening powder really helps to give that lift and to make your nose look more contoured with, by using the highlighter instead of bronzer. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead, oh, I did not bring my, I always curl my lashes, but I forgot it. So I've really, really been loving this duo, um, the primer and the mascara by L'Oreal. It's um, so great. I love that um, I find that my mascara does not run at all during the day if my eyes are tearing from allergies. I love it. And it feels very conditioning. I haven't had any problem with um, flaking or anything like that, like I did with the Lash Paradise. So I really, really like this combination. And using the two makes me use less product, which I also love. You can also, I did a video on this um, combination and I will link it down below if you would like to see that video and you haven't seen it yet. Um, you can make this look very dramatic the more that you layer it or you can make it look um, more natural. So I love that you can do either one with this one. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is not it by, is not it cosmetics, but it is amazing. I just talk, posted this on my Instagram um, the other day. It's Flower Beauty as well, but it is a lip duo. On one side it has a matte lipstick, and then on the other side it has a matching lip gloss. And the thing that I love about this is one, it is a dupe for the famous Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk that everybody loves so much and the cost you can't beat it, but two, I didn't even realize this because I didn't think that it was a long wearing lipstick or anything. I don't think that that is something it claims. But when I was at the conference center with my husband at the Don Cesar, I put this on around like, I don't know, seven o'clock in the morning. And I was talking the whole time at the conference and we had lunch. And I think I went back up to the room around like four or five and it was still on my lips. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I totally have to tell you guys about that because I don't think it claims to be long wearing, but that was amazing to me. I did end up touching it up to go to dinner, but that's just because I wanted to have a little bit more of the shimmer on the end. Um, so I was like super impressed and I had to share with you that this like lasted that long um, and it didn't fade like in a weird way or anything. So all I did was I used the lipstick side and I put that on first. So if you like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I highly recommend that you pick this one up. It's in the shade Honey Nude. And I'll have it all linked below too. And then the gloss on top. I don't know 
what about it made it so long wearing if it's the gloss and the lipstick mixed together I don't know what but it lasted and I was super super impressed so I wanted to share that with you guys if you have not tried the um, it bye bye pores or you have not tried the it CC cream um, I highly recommend it also this gel lotion is oh, it is super amazing super soft um, but I wanted to kind of swatch these two for you especially if you have fair skin because this one's more of a yellow undertone this one has more of a pink it is a bit dark but as you can see um, you can make it work um, I really liked applying it with this brush but you can also apply it with other foundation brushes and sometimes, do I have it with me? Sometimes I'll even go back over it and just kind of use a wet um, sponge just to make sure it's blended really, really well um, because of it being a little bit darker, but I didn't do that today. So I really hope that you will try this out. I'm missing my hat because I'm gonna be going back outside. So let me add that on here. Um, but I think that you will really, really like it. So I'd love it if you would comment below if you have tried any of the it cosmetic products what you love um, if you've tried the new gel cream because I'm like totally digging that and um, the other thing which is super fine is this for the Charlotte Tilbury so I thank you so much for watching I hope that you have already subscribed to my channel and I will see you in future videos thanks very much for watching guys bye